All right, guys, the new Blender update is out. We finally have caustics, so I'm going to jump right into it and show you exactly how you can create caustics in Blender very easily. Open up a new Blender file. Keep everything as it is right now. I'm just going to add a plane. I'm going to scale that up to 10, S10, and I'm just going to bring my plane down under my scene here. So go ahead into our render engine here and make sure you're on cycles. And this only works for the CPU, unfortunately, at the moment. So we're going to go ahead and select our CPU. Now I'm going to go to my rendered view up here. Okay, you can see we have our main point light, we have our camera, and we have our cube. I'm just going to bring the cube up a little bit. And I'm going to apply a glass shader to that. doesn't matter really what your settings are. I'm just going to keep it at 1.3 for the IOR. And for roughness, I'll just turn it down to like 0.2 or so. So the key step here, guys, is to go into your object properties and pop up in that shading tab, and you'll see something down here called cast shadow caustics. So you want to click on that, and then we're going to click on our floor plane, and we're going to click on receive shadow caustics. So those two things need to be enabled. And then the last step is click on our light, go to our light settings here, and then there's a little tab called shadow caustics. You want to go ahead and select that. Now you probably noticed not much has happened yet, and we're just gonna go ahead and shade this smooth. And you'll notice now we have caustics. Now in order to show you guys this a little bit better, I'm just gonna go ahead to my modifiers tab with my cube selected and add a bevel. And I'm going to add some segments to that bevel. And I'm just gonna keep increasing that bevel until we get kind of a nice sphere here. I'm just gonna scale that up. Look at that, right there we have the caustics happening. If we go into our materials tab, we can also mess around with our material even more. I'll change the IOR to 1.6, and as you can see, we're getting even more interesting caustics here. Um, now, if you go ahead and change the color, of course, we can get different colored caustics, which is really beautiful. So I'll go ahead and duplicate this sphere so I can show you kind of how these two would mix together. I'm going to duplicate the material, give that a purple shader or maybe like a pink shader. And just look at the way we're getting these caustics now. It's incredible. Uh, and you can go ahead and mess with the bevel modifier, turn that back into more of a cube. And that's pretty much it, guys. It's, that's how you do caustics. Um, it only works with the CPU. You have to enable caustics on, all, on your light, your object, and the piece that's receiving the caustics. And you cannot use an HDRI for this, unfortunately, um, after doing a little bit of research and watching some other videos. So, but you do get these incredible effects. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here and I'll show you what that looks like. Obviously it takes a little while with the CPU, but when you're there and, um, and you, you do a full render pass, it's gonna look incredible. We're gonna go over to our layer properties right here and you just wanna select denoising de data right here, guys. And I'm gonna to go to the compositing tab. I'm gonna click on use nodes. Okay, so we have these nodes right here. And I'm just gonna add in a denoising node Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and drop that in in between here. And you just wanna plug in the denoising normal to the normal and the denoising albedo to the albedo. And that's it, that's all you have to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up my camera and let's go ahead and give this bad boy a render. Let's, uh, let's reposition our camera a little bit here so that we can clearly see what's going on. All right, we wanna be behind the scene. I'll put it right about there. And I'm going to go ahead and render this out, and I will show you guys the resulting render when it's finished. And here's the resulting render. So I actually turned down some of the settings just to get a quicker render, but it actually turned out pretty good with the denoiser. So I'm going to share those settings with you now. Um, we've got 100 samples, so nothing crazy there. Still using the CPU with uh, open shading language enabled. And that's it, guys. Um, and I'm running 1920 by 1920, so I just reduced it down to one more size. Um, but it looks incredible. I encourage you guys to go try this out. You're gonna have to have Blender 3.2 and uh, You guys just have to make sure you have those correct settings enabled that I went over earlier And you will also be able to achieve caustics just like this and have fun Have a good day and let me know if you guys have any questions. I'd be more than happy to answer them